Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Inspector Gadget Operation Mad Cactus for the Game Boy Color. In the second video, which was the last one, we took on the Plasma Heart. And it took a lot of lives just to get through the final level and the boss. So we need to be really careful as we go through the third area of the game, which is the volcano. And as soon as we enter, we get a password. T-H-2-F-K-X. Something tells me we're probably going to need that. Because I have no lives. And welcome to World 3-1, the crater. And what do you know, there's a robot mole person with jetpack boots. Something tells me we'll be fighting them as soon as they go in here. Level 1, the crater. Only Penny can see the bonuses and activate some of the flashing stones. Wonderful. That's exactly what I need when I have no lives. And that's the last thing I want happening. This guy hitting me. First of all, the moles fly around just like the mosquitoes. They're just bigger. Second, if anything flashes red and yellow like that, it's lava and it will hurt you. So don't touch it. And we need to take a good look at what we're doing here. And that's what I should have been doing when I started this game. In case I slide around uncontrollably, I can press down and Gadget will stop. I found this out on accident. How you're suspected to just find this out other than through complete frustration, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure you can press up and it'll have the same effect too. Although there's nothing down there, or rather up there, rather, if we go up from there. So, we need to just be careful as we go places, and we need to switch the brain when we need to. Now, thankfully, we can get some... Uh-oh. We can get some gadget points, and uh-oh. We need to be careful as we go over here. Now, only one person can activate this. It's not Gadget. It's not Brain. It's Penny. This is what they meant by flashing stones. And now... We need to be very careful on our way down. And here is a flashing box that we can stand on for not one, but two platforms. We do multiple things with the switches now, which should be kept into consideration. And that is not a thing that I wanted to have happen. Yeah, some of these little weird-looking rock columns, you can climb on them. And as you can see, that led to some pretty bad news. Also, we are going in the direction that we need to go, but... If I know what I'm doing, I can get some points on the way there. Oh, no. Let's switch to Gadget. And then use the... Well, we were going to use the uh, hammer. But now we don't really need to. And this is the exit. Need to make sure that we keep looking down with down. And keep looking up with up. Whenever we need to. And for Pete's sake, let Gadget handle the enemies here. Unless... Well, you have a really good reason to have brain do it or something. 
because there will be a time where you will need brain to take care of some enemies. Just like you need brain to do some jumps like these. Because trying to fight some of these enemies with brain is no bueno. And I want to make sure that I get those. And I want to make sure that I keep on looking down here. So that way I know where I'm going next. And thankfully I can tell that I need to go, go over here. To the right. Of course. Now, I would like to go... Really? Uh, well, that's one way to do all that. I want to make sure that he goes that way. And you know what? I'll go ahead and let Gadget take care of the enemy here. That's a much better idea, to be honest. And, hey, what do you know? Managed to land here safely. Let's go ahead and make sure we get to this switch with Brain. I don't know how I managed to nail that double jump, but I did. And we get three platforms out of the deal. Incredibly. And we want to be very careful as we get around here. And as much as I would like to go for some secrets, I don't really know where the extra life is. I've never seen it. I'm not going to try. I'm not even going to risk it. Because I'm one hit away from death with brain and I'm right in front of the exit. Why even risk it for the biscuit? Anyway, World 3-2, the drought. Or as the Chief calls it, the Droughts. Here again, only Penny can see the bonuses and activate some of the Flashing Stones. I've never really had that much of an issue with seeing the bonuses as Penny, or as anybody for that matter. Also, if you find a place full of bonuses, open it by hitting the wall, ceiling, or floor. If it's like a wall or something, you can hit it with your weapon, but if it's like the ceiling, you can just hit it with your head. And I'm pretty sure you can step on it if it's the floor. Anyway. I have no idea where I'm stepping. And that's going to be a pain for me. And I want to be very careful as I do a thing. At least when it's molten floor like that, it'll just hurt Gadget. If you're playing as Penny or the Brain, it is going to bring you back to one hit away from death, and well, that's not really much fun for anyone. Also, it's a good thing that we can refill our health once we get to a new level. And I really wanted to hit that guy with my hammer. Now be careful here because right there there's a geyser right there. And those things can take you off guard if you are not careful. You just need to pay attention to where everything is and I think you should be fine as far as dealing with these things are concerned. And I am not liking where this is going. And you know what? I think it's better if we went over there. Before we went over here. And I gotta punch people with the brain, but that's okay. And there is an extra life over there. I want to make sure that... Wrong character. I want to make sure that I get it before I leave. Also, 
it's time to play one of these things again, where I go straight from point A to point B with the lines. Once again, I don't have to plug everything with everything, as long as I just go straight to where I'm supposed to, we're good. I actually had to play the piece that I was supposed to place next on top of something that would take me over there, but I for just forgot to move it, that's all. And now, we need to be careful as we make our way to things. Lucky! A mad cat head with two arrows means two hidden bonuses. We've got one of them. Now I just need to get the other one. And if I hold... Well, I was trying to hold left. Or right in that case. Couldn't make it work for some reason. That is on me. Let's try this again. Oh, I said let's try this again. Well, I can make stuff work now, but I really got to get those lives. I really got to get those lives now. I really got to make this work. Okay. Whew. The top of the flying guy can hit you. I forgot to talk about the flying guys. They will shoot at you from a 45 degree angle. They always shoot downwards, and if they know what they're doing, they can always get their man. Also, I really want to get that. Also, I want to be able to look down. But before I do anything else, there is really... There is another life that I want to grab. And I, and I messed it up. But we can still get this. I can't believe there's a thing there. Well, I still have a net gain. I still have one life left. I made this work. At least I showed that off. And now we're at world 3-3, the lava field. This is not going my way. Level 3, the lava field. Gadget has to place his third bomb underneath a panel marked by a large axe. And if we know what we're doing, we should be able to do stuff here. Hopefully. That's the plan. And I can't believe those platforms fall down. Now, here's a new enemy. A flame woman. That looks like like a flame spirit of some sort. She will fly around. She does have a good range of movement. And she takes about four hits to the feet, just like these little robot moles. And... They can be a pain in the butt when you least suspect them to be. But if you know what you're doing, you can easily beat them up. What is over here? Gadget points. Okay, then. And by hitting that switch, we activate a platform. Now. Good. I wanted to make sure that I managed to keep that guy at bay. And there's an extra life right there. Uh-oh. Okay, I wasn't completely standing still there. That's on me. And there's supposed to be a... Really? I cannot catch a break, can I? 
Yeah, that's what happens if you fall right into the lava at the bottom of the level. You die. And that's no fun for anyone. And that's the platform that I should have been waiting for. I didn't get it. Also, I need to go in this direction. Ah! To take care of you. And plant the bomb. I am not a clever man today. I am not a clever man in this recording session at all. I don't know what I'm doing. And I still got hit. Well, at least I wasn't at one hit point with Brain. Also, the hitbox on the Flame Woman is really weird. Like, sh she's at a pl point where I shouldn't be able to hit her, and yet I can. Don't ask why. I don't even know. Anyway, can I get this? Yes, barely. And somehow without touching that. I know I never promised a one credit clear of this, but man, this is not going my way at all. And hit him, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. Uh, I took more damage than I should have. What do you lead to? Good. This dude. Somehow I can get to this guy and hit him with the hammer with gadget. That guy will punch you. And he is really big and he takes a lot of damage. It's six hits with gadget. And while you can beat him up with brain, it does take forever. Do I need health? Yes. Okay. Fair, fair enough. I don't really know what else to say at this point other than fair enough. I'm trying hard at this game and... Unfortunately, everything I do seems to be falling straight to pieces. It's like that song by Faith No More. I'm falling to pieces! Um, I need you to look up Gadget, thank you. Okay. Why do you have such a big hitbox? Okay. Now, we've laid the bomb. We've done that. Now we just need to not die, as we do virtually anything at this point. Because the exit is far to the left. And I ran into a geyser, but you know what, that's okay. That's alright. We got energy. We got that at least. And I wanted to make sure that I hit this guy before when he rushes at me. And now, we have at least one life. I wish we had more, but, well, we can party with this. All right. Get you over there. You over there. You over there. All right. And you can go over there. And let's see if we can get... There we go. 
concentrating a little bit, but I'm making this manage. And might as well press select. Get this thing cleared. And with that, we have this level completed. And now it's time for this. It's time for this little area. You want to get all the way down and to the right. And then you want to go all the way. Are you kidding? Well, at least you're right here. And that's what you want to do, basically. You want to lure this guy. This ghost thing. All the way to the right where the bubbles are. So you can beat it up and kill it. And I've lost all my lives trying to do this. So. To explain things. You go all the way down to the right at the beginning of the level. Then you carefully make your way to the left. There's this weird ghost thing. It only comes at you when you get close to it. Once you get its attention and it comes at you, you keep it near you at all times as you go to the far right where the little lava bubbles that are popping in and out of the lava are. When those bubbles hit the ghost thing, it splits into three. You want to be hitting those things with the hammer as gadget in order to take the three smaller ghosts out and open up the exit. Which is what we've just done. Unfortunately, we lost all our lives trying to get to the vats. And that's where we're going to head for the next video. So, join me next time where we take on the vats. The fourth world of the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!